This is News 3 HD at 6. A racy radio promotion tops our news tonight at 6. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Susan Simon. A local radio station standing behind a concert ticket giveaway last night, which encouraged listeners to send in nude photos of themselves. News 3's Mark Lovacott joins us now with the story, Mark. It's certainly an interesting way to grab people's attention, and it definitely has, maybe not in the way that this radio station had hoped. Several have come forward saying the Clear Channel station, Madison Z104 FM, and it's not nighttime DJ just went too far. Take a naked picture, send it to me, Tyler, at Z104FM.com, just like you would normally text message. It's a line you don't usually hear on the airwaves. A radio DJ encouraging listeners to take pictures of themselves in the nude and send it his way for a chance to win concert tickets. I am driving on the belt line, and I will take a picture and send that because I'm driving home. Perfect. That worked. In an impromptu contest, he invited his listeners to send a photograph of themselves doing their uh, household chores in the buff. You know, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that people write to Ann Landers and Dear Abby about. But it was hardly funny to those listeners who got in touch with us. One woman told us she was shocked and appalled. Others call it sick, ridiculous, and disgusting. So it's kind of humorous to see the outrageous stunt that, you know, Tyler did. Operations manager Mike Ferris tells News 3 seven listeners sent in the pictures and entered the contest. And of course, we verified that they were all over 18. And then he edited the photographs and posted them in an online gallery. But Ferris couldn't clearly explain how their ages were verified. All the contestants were over 18. You do know that? Did you see the photographs? It raises a question that many seem to have. There's child pornography uh, issues. That have been I don't think that that's where this is going. I really don't. And frankly, I, I kind of, I'm offended that that's even the implication. I'll get the picture. The best picture is picking themselves up fourth row Sean Kingston tickets. I picked the winner at 930 tonight. Ferris says the stunt was harmless, and he stands by his late-night DJ. I think the people are overreacting. I simply think that it was a fun, impromptu contest that Tyler Cruz hosted that obviously supplied a handful of listeners with an opportunity to win tickets with a little bit of frivolous fun. We should mention, since our interview this afternoon, all of the pictures posted online have been removed from the station's website. Meanwhile, several media attorneys we talked to today indicate there could be some sort of indecency violation, but it's unclear because the photographs were not explicitly described on the air. Our calls to the FCC for clarification were not immediately returned today. Mark Lovacott reporting tonight. Mark, thanks. Sure. Well, that topic, part of tonight's conversation on News 3 at 9. Did the Z104 DJ cross the line asking listeners to text in those pictures? Text yes to 87301 or text no. If you think it was all in good fun, you can text your comments as well. We'll share them on News 3 at 9, home of 15 minutes of nonstop news and weather.